Good day, ladies and gentlemen. This is February the 27th of 2022. And you're probably looking at this screen going, what's this ape doing? If you think that's bad, you should see my wife sitting next to me. She wants me to put in an application to the local cheese factory because she said my cheese has slid off the cracker. I got news for you. We don't have a cheese factory here in Livingston, Montana. No, look, what I thought I would do, I learned how to do this today. So if I make some mistakes, don't get nervous. Don't get flighty. Don't get all twisted up. But from Google Earth, I thought I'd show you Livingston, Montana. And, you know, these desktop recordings like this, I've done very few of them in my life, hardly any at all. So bear with me. Let me let me turn on something here. Let me turn on Google Earth. What am I talking about? Okay, right here. Now, this is all the bigger I can make Google Earth because that's just the way it is. So I can slide it over here. I've got my ugly face right here. I'm sure you folks don't need to... Don't need all that. But anyway, so let's go here. Let's let's find Livingston, Montana. Okay, we'll hit the search function right here. Type up Livingston, Montana. Livingston, Montana. Hit the enter key and see what we got. Oh, boy. Ooh. Exciting, right? And this little guy right here, let me roll this up and down. Oh, I'll, I'll get that out of the way. There were some places that they had on that place card right there, that labeler, but we don't need to look at that for right now. Okay. Anyway, here's Livingston, Montana. Like I say, I'm sorry, but I can't bring this application up any bigger on this Samsung uh, Galaxy Chromebook 2, so we'll just have to stumble through this. Let me go forward here a little bit and bring you up on Livingston. I'll take you over by my home. And I don't think that I'm stupid enough to pinpoint my home on here. However, I very well could be. There's a lot of people that know where I live anyway. Okay, let me see what I got going on here. You know, here I am looking at this dumb map and I'm lost myself. <laughs> oh, I dropped a pin. Sorry about that. We'll get down here. We'll... Okay. I got to I got to reverse that a little bit there. I dropped another pen. Didn't mean to do that. Okay. Let me let me go back here. Okay. All right. I just I just went over my home, but let's just say this soccer field. Let me drop a pen there. That's my home. It's just going to have to do. No, but I, I'm in this neighborhood by a couple of blocks for sure. Okay, let me, let me zoom out here. And so now Livingston, Montana is a city of about 7,500 people, okay? It is the county seat of Park County. Now, the Yellowstone River, let me show you. Let me roll it up here so you can see. Oh, by the way, while I'm thinking about it, watch this mouse here. I'm... I'm looking due north on this map, okay? You always got to keep that in mind. And believe it or not, I've seen tourists come into this country here reading a map upside down. The reason why I know is because all maps are structured. Most maps are structured with north pointing at the top of the map. I've actually seen tourists come into Montana reading maps upside down. How they could read anything is beyond me. <laughs> you know, but anyway, I'm just scoot around here. Let me let me zoom up here just a little bit. Okay, right here where my cursor's at, where the circle's at, here's the Yellowstone River. It flows right along. Let me go up here. Oops, I dropped another pin. Sorry, I got a touchy mouse. But there it is. The Yellowstone River just flows right along the east side of Livingston. Here's Livingston over here for the most part, and like that. And believe it or not, this island right here in the middle of the river is, you know, 9th Street Island, they call it, Cybeck and all that. This There's actually people that live out here, about 50 homes out there, believe it or not. <laughs> this is the freeway I'm always hollering about, I-90, 
get yourself killed real easy out there, especially in high winds. Let me zoom this up a little bit closer. Yeah, there's the Yellowstone River, and it flows this way towards Billings, by the way. You know, when the river gets down here by Livingston, Montana, it, 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 the river, for the most part, out of the park is flowing to the north, okay? But when it gets to Livingston, Montana, watch the cursor here, don't watch me, <laughs> it makes a bend, a very hot, not a sharp bend, but a very progressive bend that goes back to the east. So it's flowing north, then it goes to, to curves to the right or to the east. And so there you are, and it flows clear out North Dakota way. So, yeah, Cybeck Island's right there. What I was just telling you guys about, and there's people that live there. There's a bridge that actually goes out there. I've been on it many times. I've recorded it. Matter of fact, the bridge is right here. And so let me, there's Sacagawea Park. I've recorded that many times. Right, let me get this up here a little ways. Right there. Okay, Sacagawea Park and all that good stuff. And Okay, let me zoom back out again. I'm sorry if this, you know, if you don't quite understand what I'm doing here, but, you know, just, just take a look around. This is going back to the east, this away like this. This is to the west. This is to the, south, to the north going up that way, and down that way is going to the south, okay? Now, I really, I could stay here probably uh, quite a while, if you if you will, just going around all these little houses and all this other stuff like this. But I don't think in this particular setting, you folks probably want to see any of this stuff. But this is what this is the satellite view, if you will, of Livingston, Montana. A lot of these places I've been to, I've covered on my channel. And by the way. If you like me, love me, hate me, while I'm thinking about it, subscribe to my channel. Give me some love. Give me some hate. Fingers up. Fingers down. Ring my bell. Notifications. All that stuff. You know, okay. Now, hope you can see this, but here we are with the Yellowstone River again. Let me roll this up. Whoops. Dr didn't mean to drop a pin, but I did. Now, let's, let me show you this here. Whoops, 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 whoops. whoops. His mouse is touchy. But the East Yellowstone River is probably one of the biggest attractions around here. But let me let me go out. I zoomed in so you guys could see it real well. But let me show you how close that Livingston, Montana is to these mountains. Let me scroll out just a little bit. Okay, right here. These are the Absorkies. Right here where you see this cursor circle. And right there, Livingston Peak. On my channel, I've covered this quite a bit. I've been in this area. I've humped that peak three different times, not up to the top. It, I do believe you can make it to the very top, which is 9,400 feet, but I just been to the base of it, you know, which is uh, from the trailhead just to get to the base is around, a, I don't know, three or four mile hike, something like that. You, you know you've done some if you hike into that country. Okay, got it. <laughs> Oops, I dropped a pin. Let me drop a pin somewhere important like Livingston Peak. Uh, well, right there. Okay, I'm sure you can see that. I hope so anyway. Okay, let me let me zoom out of here. And here's Wine Glass Mountain right there that I'm always griping about. Now, I've recorded some of this country in here. You know, this is Pine Creek. This is a real, this is a real popular hike from here, oops, from Pine Creek right here to Black Mountain. I kid you not. Uh, you know, you'll end up at an elevation of about 92, uh, 90, 91, 9,200 feet, and you'll be up, if you go straight east to Pine Creek right up here to Black Mountain, you'll run into Jewel Lake and Pine Creek Lake. Well, it's really scenic up there if you can make the hike. It's, you know, let me, well, while I'm out of here, let me see if I can zoom in and get on those two lakes. At least you can say you've been somewhere except for the dusty trails of Livingston, Montana. Okay, watch that in the middle of your screen right there. Well, let me, this thing's touchy, guys. Sorry. Whoops. Let me get back down here again.
Where am I at? <laughs> yeah, this thing likes to get away from you. Sorry about that. Pine Creek and Okay, there's Black Mountain. That's all I was trying to do was just zoom in here, which I know I can if I can get this thing to cooperate with me. Pool Creek. Okay. Pine Creek Campground right there. Okay, now watch. See this? See where this Pine Creek Campground is? This is really a popular place to camp. And then you're headed up Pine Creek here. And right here, this Y, this goes to George Lake. And this right here goes to Pine Creek. Your Pine Creek Lake and Jewel Lake and all that. And I'll show you. This is some of the prettiest country in America. It's just that simple. If I can get there. Okay, let me see here. Pine Creek. Okay, here we are. Right there. Pine Creek Lake. See it? You're going to pay to get up in here. Pine Creek Lake. And right down here, believe it or not, is Jewel Lake. There's a little lake, right? There's a nice, beautiful waterfall that comes right down to this Jewel Lake right here. And this is a winter kill for just a frog pond down there. But this, this will wear you out hiking from that campground there, if you will, Pine Creek Campground up there to Pine Creek Lake and all that, okay? Now, uh, but that, I, I was glad that I was able to figure this desktop recording stuff out because I get asked a lot of things here, you know, in my, being from Montana and being a native, I get asked everything from gold digging to, to, to fish into you name it. And I, I just figure an application like this is something that's pretty good to have in case I want to show people around a little bit, you know. Whoops, I didn't mean to drop that pen. <coughs> okay. Let me uh, drop the pen again. Sorry. We're going to back out of here. And we'll go back. Okay, here's the river right here. Yellowstone River right in the middle of your, you can see, okay, all these round fields here, that's all, all ranch and hay, you know, guys putting up hay and like that. Okay, so, uh, here we go, right back into Livingston. Pine Creek, that campground's only about 15, 16 miles. It's on the East River Road. Uh, it's only about, you know, like I say, 15, 16 miles from Livingston, so I just thought I'd just thought I'd throw that in real quick. Like, there's a lot of things that guy can look at with his application. But anyway, I don't even know what kind of, what time I've got on this file or anything like that. But here's I-90 going to Billings right there. Okay. And I think this is the old Clyde. Yeah, this, this goes to Clyde Park. That's another little town that's directly north of Livingston. I do believe if I'm on the right road. Yeah, I am right there. Clyde Park. And then you just keep going to White Sulphur Springs on that road, okay? But this is a basic look, if you will. Overhead, uh, helicopter, satellite view. <laughs> you know, let me go in here and search this and hit that again. So we got a... So I don't have to mess around here. Well, while I'm doing this, let me let me roll up this. Let me roll up this just for a second here. Okay, Livingston, Montana, elevation forty five zero one. You know, I think it takes up five point seven square miles. Population seven thousand five hundred and seventy five is of twenty nineteen. There's the area code and. All that good stuff. Livingston is a county seat of Park County, Montana, United States. It is in southwestern Montana. I like to say south central Montana, but anyway, on the Yellowstone River, north of Yellowstone National Park 
its population was 8,040 at the 2020 census. Oh, oh, oh. We got a few more people living in here than I thought, you know. So, okay, Mother, since I need cheese on my cracker, how long have I been talking? Come on. I don't know. I didn't pay attention. You didn't pay attention. Here, uh, look at here, guys. I've been sitting here all morning grumbling, griping, whining, cursing, trying to figure out this, you know, this, you know, how to record on my desktop and everything. And my wife sitting there going, <laughs> you know, and every time I try to explain something to her, she just look at me with these watery eyes, you know. Ah. You know, she just she just soon she she does that stuff because she she knows I'm gonna just sit here and blow up, you know, just get full of myself and just poop for whatever that means, you know. Okay, I don't know how much time I got on this file, but I hope you guys enjoy what I'm trying to do here, you know. <laughs> Uh, let me, okay, okay, if you want to know where Bozeman's at, it's over here. See how that works? We're like 30 miles from Bozeman. And here's that miserable pass area that I'm always griping about. I set another pin again. I didn't mean to do that. Touchy mouse here. Okay, and so there you are with all that, you know. But, yeah, this little piece of road right in here is that... Pretty dangerous. The winds blow very severely coming down through Livingston here like this. So you got any truck drivers out here watching this video, make sure you pay attention to what I said because 18 wheelers get blown off this I-90 all the time around Livingston, Montana. And there's some people out here in this universe that have definitely lived to understand that. So, you know, there you are. But anyway, so let me let me zoom up here to Livingston one more time here. There's nothing. It, 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 Livingston, Montana, for all purposes, it's a ranching town. It's a railroad town. And it's also a big fishing and hunting area here. You know, when you especially you've got a city, a western city like Livingston, right on the Yellowstone River. Well, people here just fish right out of town here. They do. You know, I mean, seriously. So I don't know where I'm at with time, but I'm just showing you around here. You know, for the most part, Livingston, Montana sits on the east side, the east north side of the river. And is there places on the other side? Yeah, sure there is. But, you know, as you can see, here's the river right here. And most of Livingston's right in here. Like I say, the, 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 the northwest side. I don't know. I might have screwed that up. Livingston, Montana, for the most part, is on the northwest side of the Yellowstone River. Okay. I think I think it's safe for me to say that. And here's our hospital right here, believe it or not, Livingston Healthcare. It actually sits, it doesn't sit out of town, but it sits east of town, which I, when they built this new hospital, I thought that was kind of weird, you know, that they didn't put it more in the middle of town, but I think the city fathers or whoever, whoever sponsored that uh, Livingston Healthcare, they probably got a good deal on that land, I would imagine, because land around here, they don't sell it by the acres, ladies and gentlemen. They sell it by the lots. <laughs> that ain't no kidding either, you know. So, yeah, this is all starting to get remote country when you got just a few miles out of Livingston, no matter which way you go. You're starting to get into, you know, some remote countries. So there you are. And, yeah, and this area out in here is where I usually, there's some BLM land out there, and that's usually where I'll go shoot my bows or my pistols and like that, where I just circled around here. Yeah, there's 660 acres of BLM land out there. A lot of people don't know that's BLM land, but. Anyway, so there you are. I, there's the grand tour of, of of Livingston, Montana. And as you're coming down through the freeway here, there's there's three exits that'll get you into the town here, you know. And of course, a lot of you guys got access, or you have Google Earth, so it's I highly encourage you to learn how to use Google Earth. And no, I don't work for Google or none of that stuff. But you'd be surprised at the amount of things that I've discovered using Google Earth, you know, uh, so 
but yeah, this, this application can come in pretty handy for me. If I want to show people, you know, like say fishing areas, hunting areas, gold picking areas, uh, uh, rock hounding, things like that, you know? So, yeah. Uh, so I think I might want to end this file, ladies and gentlemen, because I don't know if I probably about the only thing I exciting I showed you was that was the was the lakes up there, Jewel Lake, Pine Creek Lake, and all that. That little bit that I, a little while ago I showed you. That's, that's some nice country in there. It's well worth the uh, the hike. But it, if you wanted from that lower from that lower falls, it's a it's a mile and a quarter to get into the first set of falls. And then you got about another five miles to go to get up into those lakes. So it's, you know, it's it, to me, it's a little bit more than a day hike, but I've known lots of guys that went clear up to the top of Black Mountain and clear back in one day. Last time I tried it, I, I didn't do I stayed overnight. <laughs> I had to rest my weary bones. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, let me shut this application off here. I'm getting ready to shut this file off. I appreciate you visiting me in my home today. I hope I made some kind of sense. I hope this this file turned out okay. And we shall see you on down the trail. And adios, my friends. I shall turn that off and go up here. And I'll have to turn that off and go up here and turn this off. <laughs>